Hi there little explorers. Today we're going to learn about the parts of our body. Your body is fantastic with many parts that work together to keep you healthy and strong. Your body is made up of your head, your torso which is the middle section of your body and your limbs which are your arms and legs. Did you know that you have a skeleton inside of your body, which is like the frame of a house around which the walls and roof are built? Your skeleton helps you stand tall and move around. It is the frame around which all your muscles are joined to. Inside of your head is a very special organ called your brain. Your brain is the computer center of your body and it controls how you think, move, learn and talk. It's similar to a busy post office where messages are sorted and organized. These messages travel along nerves that reach every corner of your body and that tells your muscles to move, your heart to beat and it even allows you to feel things like pain when you hurt yourself. Guess what, little explorers? Each of us has a powerful pump that keeps our body alive. Do you know what the special muscle is called? Yes, that's right. It's called your heart. Your heart pumps blood throughout your body and blood flows through tubes called veins carrying oxygen to every part of your body. Everyone needs air to breathe, so there's a system in your body, little explorer, that allows you to breathe. You have lungs, which are like two balloons that fill up with air when you breathe in, and they shrink small when you breathe out. Being able to breathe easily gives you lots of energy to play and run. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food you eat after you've swallowed it? Where does it go? When you eat, your food travels down a pipe that enters into your stomach. Your stomach works very hard to break down the food you eat into smaller pieces so that your body can use it for energy. The food gets mixed with strong stomach juices that dissolve the food into smaller pieces. Your stomach is kind of like a cement mixer truck that mixes and mixes and mixes. Once the food is broken down, it moves into your intestine. Oh, that's a very big word, isn't it? Your intestine is a long, twisty tube in your belly that helps your body get vitamins and minerals from your food. And that helps you to grow big and strong. Your intestine also pushes out the parts of the food that your body can't use by turning it into poop, which you get rid of when you go to the toilet. You have another special organ called your liver, which is like a supercharged engine in your body. Just as a car relies on petrol or gas to keep moving, your body relies on its liver to give you energy every day. What would you say, little explorers, if I told you that you have two beans in your body? I'm teasing, of course, but your body does have two bean-shaped organs called kidneys. Kidneys are like a water cleaning plant inside of your body. Rainwater is treated to make it safe for us to drink, and your kidneys do something similar. Let's look at our face. Hmm. Do we all look the same? We may look slightly different, but we do have some features that are the same. We have hair on top of our head. We have eyes to see, ears on the side of our head, a nose in the middle of our face, and a mouth to laugh, speak, and eat with. Below our mouth is our chin, and our head is joined to our body by something called 
Our neck. Did you know that you have a superhero of your body? Something that is amazing and helps you to explore and understand the world around you. You have five senses and your five senses are you use your eyes to see beautiful colors, your ears to hear joyful and exciting music, your nose to smell flowers and other delicious smells, your tongue to taste your yummy, yummy food, and best of all, your skin to feel warm hugs from the people you love the most. So friends, every part of your body is special and important. There are many people who have what we call disability. This is when someone's body or brain has their own special way of doing things. Someone might need to use a wheelchair to help them move around. Or they might use a special stick or guide dog if they can't see. Or perhaps they use special sign language to speak. Disabilities can be big or small, and it may mean that some people need a little extra help or support sometimes. Just like how we all help each other out when we need it. Having a disability it doesn't stop a person from being awesome and doing amazing things. Although we may all look a little different to each other because our eye colour, hair colour or skin colour may be different from our friends, we are all special in our own way. Little explorers, it is important to look after the body you have. And you can do this by exercising your muscles, eating healthy foods, and getting plenty of sleep. Today, we have learned all about our bodies and how amazing they are. Your body is so special, and taking care of it is your responsibility. I've got a body, it's strong and true With legs to run and arms to move My heart goes thump, I know I'm awake My lungs fill with air each breath I take Oh, I'm wonderfully made, can't you see? My body's a miracle made just for me From head to toes, I jump and play My amazing body, hip hip My eyes can see, my ears can hear, my hands can touch what's far or near. My brain helps me think, my muscles grow, I love my body from head to toe. Oh, I'm wonderfully made, can't you see? My body's a miracle made just for me. From head to toes, I jump and play, my amazing body, hip hip. Hooray! Disability means we do things new In ways that work for me and you With wheelchairs or canes or hands to speak We all have strengths that make us unique Oh, I'm wonderfully made, can't you see? My body's a miracle made just for me From head to toes, I jump and play My amazing body, hip hip hoop hooray Oh, I'm wonderfully made, can't you see? My body's a miracle made just for me No matter the way we move or play We can do great things every day